안녕하세요. 아케 박사입니다. Are any Star Wars fans out there? I am an old fan, but only for the classic Lucas versions. Not the Disney Star Wars. So, I have tried out most old PC Star Wars games from back in the day. And Jedi Knight was the best series for me. I am more of a shooter fan than a flight simulation fan after all. Anyway, Jedi Knight 2 Outcast was the high point of the series. The VR industry famous Dr. Beef team has brought that game to VR. Since it is standalone VR, both Quest 2 and Pico 4, you do not need a PC once the game is installed using SideQuest. Let us play it a bit. Go to the unknown sources menu in your headset and find JK Companion app. This app handles the mods and add-ons for the game. Get what you want. Select Outcast and press launch. We are off to the races. Most of Dr. Beef Team's VR projects distribute their VR game port engines for free using SideQuest. However, Prepare you are required to purchase approach. the official game in order to get the actual game files. Shh. I think I saw some To play the game, you have to copy these files into the engine. You can purchase Jedi Knight 2 Outcast from Steam now without hassle. Go to the SideQuest links in the descriptions. There will also be install instructions there. Sector 7 had an opening, so I applied. Uh, Ben, should be a quiet last day. There are two game modes provided at the moment. One is a vanilla mode where the game operates more closer to the original gameplay. The other is Dr. Beef's Director's Cut, where gameplay is tinkered to be more VR friendly. You are currently seeing the Director's Cut footage. If you do not know, the first few missions of the game make you play as a Force Powerless Norman. So, you have to get by using gameplay alone. Once you are made a Jedi, it is lightsabers and Force Powers galore. Let us just use a cheat to speed things up. Stay here, Jen. Cover our back. Okay, I'll wait here. Go back to the You can't escape. Go with the rest of my team. Get him! So, what do you think? I personally highly recommend this game. Sadly, there is a limited language subtitle sets even with mods. At least, there are subtitles shown in both cinematics and gameplay. One thing to consider is that this game was released in 2002 and the game design is old. So, the maps are complex, lots of retracing your steps, and the puzzles can be tricky at points. Do not be ashamed to use a walkthrough when stuck. I have a link down in the descriptions. It is not too bad once you get used to the game. Once again, this VR port gets a big thumbs up. Please try it and also join Dr. Beef's Patreon if you can spare some coffee money. Bye.